Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. Quantum computing, it's an emerging field of computer science that uses quantum mechanics to perform calculations and solve problems many times faster than regular computers. It is technology that holds the promise of collaborations among business, government, and academic institutions to achieve breakthroughs in national defense, cybersecurity, biotechnology, and many other areas. And Indiana is making a bid to be a leader in the quantum field by establishing a high-tech superhighway. It's called the Quantum Corridor. It's an ambitious plan launched one year ago with a transmission from a data center in downtown Chicago to a center in Hammond. The speed, get this, 500 times faster than the blink of an eye. But there are much bigger plans to extend the network for more than 250 miles across the Indiana Toll Road in northern Indiana and ultimately south to Purdue through Indianapolis to the Cray Naval Surface Warfare Center in southern Indiana. And with it, the potential to supercharge innovation, investment, and infrastructure. And when we're anywhere other than the North or South Pole on the surface of the planet Earth, we are in a quantum superposition of zero and one. The Quantum Corridor, with its nearly instantaneous computing and communication speeds, fast enough to transmit the entire printed collection of the Library of Congress every two seconds, is viewed as potentially transformational for Indiana and the nation. You think about what are the great corridors. You know, we think about these tech uh, clusters, you know, Silicon Valley, Route 128, Aerospace Alley in Colorado. We have the makings of this high-tech corridor here in the Midwest, ranging from Crane, Indiana, where the Navy is doing its most advanced technological innovation and research and development of new systems, running up through Fermilab, Argonne National Lab. You got Purdue University, one of the largest and most efficient and effective research universities in the world. And we're building the Navy's new frigates all the way up in Green Bay, Wisconsin. So if you think about this high-tech cluster or corridor that we've created here, then you understand the importance of this quantum corridor. The corridor would link universities, researchers, and the private sector along its path, providing connectivity that currently doesn't exist. We believe the next generation of, of technology center is going to have a data center as part of it, but it's going to include a dozen PhDs who are going to be working on on fantastic solutions to amazing problems, some of them militarily, some of them for uh, the advancement of the human body. For hundreds of attendees at this week's Midwest Defense Summit in downtown Indianapolis, the potential of a quantum corridor to the Crane Naval Surface Warfare Center was top of mind. One of the largest military installations in the nation, Crane is home to more scientists, engineers, and technical professionals with advanced degrees per capita than anywhere in the country. A tech hotbed supporting research and development in electronic warfare and testing and technologies like sensors, electronics, and advanced weapon systems. A quantum connection to Crane is viewed as a potential game changer for the economy and national security. We got a generation ahead when we developed uh, the nuclear force first and then we invested in things like GPS and stealth that gave us a 25-year lead. Right now the, the the opponent is largely caught up with us. This type of investment uh, gets us uh, allows us that opportunity to establish that generational lead again to get out there ahead to define the battle space and so we need these types of investments whether it's hypersonics or whether it's quantum computing or AI. These are the things that give the U.S. military its technological advantage in the battle space. Raising money has not been hard. Um, we're, we've got a lot of people that are that are putting that are that are wanting to help us. Organizers say they are nearing a $140 million fundraising goal for the corridor, evidence of momentum that they say is real. Indiana is really well positioned. The Midwest as a whole is well positioned. The Quantum Valley, if you want to use Silicon Valley analogs, is really being defined right now. We see a huge investment from our neighbors to the west in Illinois. But we've been working on this for quite some time at IU, Purdue, Notre Dame. Microsoft on the corporate side has been a big investor in some activity at uh, Purdue. And so we've just got a lot of great assets here. Some big news on a major development. Officials say if all goes as planned, the Quantum Corridor could be connected all the way to Crane by early 2027. Well, the key organizer of the defense summit we just reported on, uh, Bloomington-based uh, Applied Research Institute, behind big bucks going to Purdue for high-tech research. Applied Research uh, awarding a team of Purdue uh, University researchers $21 million over the next four years to advance artificial intelligence hardware in semiconductors.